Hello and welcome. This is Ajay Naik and in this section I'm going to give you a small demo of a app which we have built for our coming course of SQL professional and advanced development and also 3.js with UI5. In this app as you can see that we have a lot of 3D elements which are present in my UI and they are presenting some data. We have two boxes here where you can see some of the description and also the query. Now, one thing which we mostly do nowadays is we focus more on the UI side of application development because that is what sells. When we talk to customer, they are more focused on interacting with UI and we have API calls which connect to the backend and there we get the data. Now, for the performance measures, when it comes to our application, how fast it is doing, when the application becomes complicated, when we have to write multiple join operation, multiple view operation, putting all the SQL syntax within SAP HANA or any database to the computation engine. So that performance is taken into consideration as high priority. In those kind of application, we often refer to API documents, which we have to read through and go through a lot of pain to understand. Now in this section, we have made it pretty simpler. You have a lot of SQL operation, which you might be requiring for a development project, or you might be requiring when you are learning things. So you can refer this application, this would be available to you. And this application also gives you a glimpse of what this particular SQL operation would be doing and how to write the syntax of it. This is plain simple application to help you create a API reference of your own when you are doing development or any kind of SQL syntax you're executing on database, primarily on SAP HANA database. We have kept a lot of native syntax and we are keep on adding more, more operation. And all these things, you don't need to think how the output would be. All you need to is visualize in the tables format which is built with 3GS library. So if I see this application here in my right outer join, you can see that I have a customer table and an order table. And in the example here, I'm basically doing a right outer join to join from table A, customer ID and table B, customer ID. So here, as you can see, both of the table has customer ID and here also customer ID is there. If we see, Finally, what are all the fields which are present? Let me reset the tables and try to zoom out a little bit so I can have a better view here. So as you can see, we have customer ID, order ID, country, city, postal code, employee ID and order date. So almost all the columns which are present in my customer tables and order table is present in my output table here. And I'm doing this join based on my customer ID here and the customer ID of order table. And you can get a little bit idea about what is the description of a right outer join in a way definition of it and the syntax for it. And it gives a good perspective of how the output will look like because most of us are visual people and we capture more information and retain that information for longer if you learn it from a visual scenario. Similarly, you can get and understand about left outer join and um, there will be more and more features coming here as well. You will also have your star join, scalar, array, a lot of complex SQL would be also documented here in HSVIS for you to refer when you are trying to do code and understand or learn the code as well. And um, for example, let's try to understand a simple select query. So. For example, if I go for select and I press go, then it's going to take the details out of the customer table. And this is the customer table. So as you can see that the query which is going to be coming out is select custom ID country city from ui5cn.customers. So this is the table, the left hand side table, customer table, and this is the output what I have. So similarly, we are going to also represent a complex queries like joins, also star joins, sigma joins, every particular aspect of SQL which you might be requiring 
in your development projects would be available for you as a reference so you can quickly do development as well so let's try to go for the right auto join this is also important for visualizing when you are reading a book or a blog you might not be getting a good idea of how the operation will be carried on and when you are learning these things you often get an understanding after doing a lot of trial attempt and think this as a visualizer because in the back end even if this is json data when it comes to codes we will be showing you how to write actual sql syntax regarding the output which you are seeing so it will be very useful for anyone who want to work with sap hana for long apart from that this 3js library which we have built on ui5 application to show and visualize this table is going to be amazing library because i'm going to show you some of the demo which are present in 3js which will really be amazing to you because you can almost do anything this is the 3js org and you can also see some of the examples as you can see here and some of the examples are really amazing where you can do a lot of 3d rendering with browser web gl capabilities we will be also creating a course on that and how can you use or take advantage of 3js library with your existing ui5 application and all this application how it comes together and works like a charm will be covered in your ui5 with 3js course so this is a quick demo which we are building and the courses which are going to be coming in next couple of weeks i hope you like the demo if you have any specific queries regarding how can i add a 3d map or how can i add a 3d object or what are the more topics you need us to cover in sql professional advanced course you can let us know in the comment section of this video i hope that this course would really be helpful for you in moving ahead in your career and have a competitive edge or anyone in your field my name is ajay naik and thank you for watching this video